There are a dozen invasive species that climb up and kill trees in Northern Virginia. Here's a quick look at six of the most problematic. It is very important to learn to distinguish them from native vines, since those should be left alone. They, they are an important source of food for our birds and caterpillars, and they don't hurt the trees they evolved with. English ivy is the biggest offender in our residential neighborhoods. Its leaves change shape as the vine grows up higher. The older stems are hairy, which is true also for poison ivy. But poison ivy loses its leaves in the fall, and English ivy stays green all year. Another native vine that might fool you into the winter is Virginia creeper. Winter creeper is also evergreen, with hairy older stems, but its leaves are an oval shape, with small teeth around the edge. The hairs on winter creeper and English ivy stems are more gray, and the hairs are of poison ivy are usually a darker brown. The leaves of porcelain berry may be deeply lobed and easy to recognize or they may fool you by looking like our native grape leaves. On grapevines, the fruits hang down, unlike porcelain berry, whose colorful berries grow upwards. The bark on grapevines can be peeled in long strips, but not on porcelain berry. The center of slightly older porcelain berry is white, but it's, it is brown on grapevines. Both species have tendrils, as does the native Virginia creeper. The tendrils of Virginia creeper have cute little pads on their ends, and the nodes along the vine are closer together, making them easy to spot once you know what, you, what to look for. Oriental bittersweet has red fruits inside yellow husks. The stems are brown with little bumps on them when younger and white with a diamond shape when older. Chinese and Japanese wisteria are easy to recognize when in flower. The seed pods are fuzzy, the leaves are compound, meaning with many leaflets. They can be confused with the native trumpet creeper. One way you can tell is that the compound leaves of trumpet creeper take off a grid across the stem from each other, whereas wisteria leaves alternate as they go up in the stem. The older stems of wisteria are a medium brown color. Japanese honeysuckle has yellow and white flowers, unlike those of the native coral honeysuckle, which are red. The leaves of younger plants are sometimes lobed. The older stems are light gray and papery looking. 